What is the reading of the following caliper? Let's begin by looking at this zero. This is where we need to focus our eyes. And this reading here is approximately here, which is after 10, this is 10 millimeters. So this is 10, 11, 12. So we're definitely past 12. This is the actual reading. So we're at 12 millimeters. However, there's a little bit left here. There's a little tiny little gap here. We need to go just a little bit more. How much is this tiny little distance worth? And this is where this nice caliper has this slidey part that helps us. What we do is we start at the zero here and we keep bonking up. So I'm gonna go bonk one, bonk two, bonk three, bonk four, bonk five, bonk six. And you can see on the sixth try, it actually cuts through. So on the sixth try, it's gonna actually bonk, cut right through there. So this is gonna be 12.6 millimeters. So let me just uh, clear up the space a little bit so you can see what's going on here. This is 12.6 millimeters. And as I'm bonking, you'll notice that these lines are getting closer and closer. So here, I'm a little bit past this line. It's getting closer, only slightly past the line. And then here, it actually aligns very nicely. Whereas here, it looks like this bottom part is slightly behind this line. So there's almost like a little gradual pattern that's occurring, so you can narrow it down. So this bottom line is past this top line, this bottom line is cutting through, and the bottom line is now behind to the left of this top line. So by, by looking at the pattern, you can kind of finalize which uh, reading it is. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the final answer is 12.6 millimeters. So the key for this question is to remember that this here is an SI caliper. This here is in terms of millimeters. We're not talking about inches, so please don't confuse the two types of calipers. This one here is pretty easy and straightforward as long as you start at the zero and as long as you work towards getting that last little bit of accuracy. And we just add that last bit of accuracy as a decimal here.